So, yet another Eurovision review, and this time an entry that I'm actually really excited about, uh, which has unfortunately so far uh, this year been kind of rare. But in this video I'm going to talk about Spain, who actually have um, what I think may be, or certainly is this far at least in the lineup, um, the best of the bunch. Um, I really, really, really like the Spanish entry, I have to say. Uh, probably so far, uh, it's my favorite. Uh, I think it's one of the best songs that Spain has sent, I want to say, for the past at least five years. Probably the best song they've sent for the past five years. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. I really like the fact that, although the title is in English and the chorus is in English, uh, the verses are in Spanish. I really, really like that. Uh, that's a great thing you can do with now with the rules being open, in any country you can sing in any language. Uh, you have some English so people can understand maybe the most important part, which is often repeated in the chorus, but you still use your own language uh, for most of the song, and I really, really appreciate that. I think the singer is very good, she's certainly beautiful. She has gigantic ears though. That's something that kind of distracted me, but that's incredibly shallow and superficial, uh, and I shouldn't even have mentioned it, so forget that. She's a beautiful young woman. Uh, she has a beautiful voice, she performs the song with a lot of emotion and really puts her heart into it, which is very important in Eurovision, as we know. Um, and I think she's going to, going to get quite a few votes on that. Um, and I'm sure that after seeing her reaction when she won, when she was so incredibly super excited, uh, could not have been happier. I think she's going to really, really put in an intensely strong effort. Uh, to do absolutely the very best she can to give everything for Spain and um, going to give a great performance, I'm sure. Um, did I mention her voice? It's just quite beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's... I have nothing negative to say about the song. I think that the performance um, is very simple. No plan, at least if they're going with what they did uh, in the national finals, but why not? When the song is as strong as that and the song is straightforward and emotional and you give an emotional performance uh, it doesn't have to be a complicated uh, fancy uh, choreography I think this song is strong enough to stand on its own with very simple choreography, very simple presentation uh, if she wears a beautiful dress and she looks as pretty as she did in the national final and sings half as well as she did that I think yeah, I think Spain should have very good chances however this may be another example of how it's not good to be in the big five because I think it's good for every song to be heard twice. I think this song is strong enough to draw attention even only the first time people are hearing it, but it would do even better um, being heard twice. Uh, I have to say this is the first among this year's lineup that's making me think I am so excited for when the CD comes out because then I'm going to listen to the song 20 times in a row. Um, so, great entry, Spain. Good luck, you deserve it. This is the best you've done for I don't know how long. Kudos. I am rooting for Spain. Madrid 2015 is my wish so far. Soy Ruth Lorenzo, de Murcia, cantante afincada en el Reino Unido, país que me ha visto nacer como artista y compositora. Pero hoy me siento preparada para regresar a mi país y poder representar a España en Eurovisión. Si me votáis, intentaré superar mi miedo a los tiburones. Podréis verlo en rtve.es. Mi propuesta, Dancing in the Rain. Una canción muy especial para mí y espero que os guste. Nadie nos puede parar 
Pero esta canción ha sido darlo, pero ahí, ¿eh? Sí. Wow. Antes de salir, estaba, no sabéis, súper concentrada. Ahora lo ha dado todo y eres momento de que el jurado opine. En este caso, Merche, ¿cómo has visto a Ruth? Antes de hablar de ella, vaya nivelazo de artistas que hay en este país. ¡Ole! ¡Ole! Ruth, bravo. Despliegue, despliegue de voz tremendo, fuerza, garra, seguridad, maravillosa, eres maravillosa, Ruth, maravillosa. Me has dejado con la boca abierta y la verdad es que, bueno, este tipo de artistas son de los que te ponen los vellos de punta una y otra vez y otra vez y es maravilloso escucharte. Enhorabuena. Gracias, Merced. Gracias, de verdad. 